In this lesson, we're going to learn how to take a given data set, enter it into our calculator, and then use the calculator to help us find what's called the line of best fit using a process called linear regression. So the data that we have here should look familiar. Let's run through the steps again to get this data into our calculator. So for step one, we're going to press stat and then edit, which is the first option. And the data that are here should reflect the data that are in the table on the screen. So you're going to enter 0 through 5 in column L1. And the numbers that are listed in the output row here into column L2. Once you do that, go on down to step 2, which is to turn on your stat plot and graph the data in an appropriate viewing window. Let's go back to Y equals. To turn on the stat plot, you're going to arrow up to plot 1, hit enter, and then return to Y1. Then let's check our window. Appropriate viewing window for this data set is 0 to 5, X min to X max, 185 to 197, Y min to Y max, and then hit graph. And that should give you the same shape that you see in the screen over here on the right. Now, step three, to access linear regression section of the calculator, we're going to go back to the stat menu, but now we want this calculate area. So we're going to arrow once to the right, and now we have all of our options for calculating with the data that are entered into L1 and L2. We are interested in linear regression of the form AX plus B. This is like what we're used to, MX plus B. So I'm going to use my arrow keys to go down to option 4. Now my screen looks like what we see here. I'm going to scroll down on the page so you can see what happens next. When we hit enter, that's going to tell the calculator to do linear regression on the data that are in L1 and L2. I'm going to hit enter again, and that gives the information in this window here. So if you look over at the steps on the right-hand side, then the A and the B value are the slope and the y-intercept. So if we identify those to two decimal places, we get A is negative 1.69 and B is 195.38. To write our linear equation, we replace slope with negative 1.69, that's the A value, and the y-intercept with 195.38. Let's write that equation in terms of the initial variables, which were time input and weight output, and then finally our result in function notation, W of t, is negative 1.69t plus 195.38. So you're really not done until you get to this final step here in terms of writing your equation. Now what we want to do is to plot that equation to graph it using our calculator and see what it looks like compared to the data that we have. So we're going to leave our plot on and in the y1 we're going to enter negative 1.69 in this case x plus 195.38. So there's our regression equation. It is our rounded equation. And then, so that's what we've done here, enter the regression equation with the rounded values. Then I'm going to press graph, and that's going to give me the picture of the line of best fit. Notice that that line doesn't really hit very many of our data points. However, what your calculator has done is to take into account all the data points that are there in the data set and give the line that is the best approximation for all of them. Again, as in uh, the previous example that we did, when you're finished, you need to turn off your plot. So go back to y equals, scroll up to plot 1, hit enter, and then return, and make sure that none of your plots are turned on when you finish working with data.